As a 22 year old, you all join biotech colleges with several dreams. You all want to grow in your career. Your love for subject should somehow transform into a great research life. But while you are still in college, there are a few pointers which biotech colleges are either hiding or not telling you, or probably it's not their duty also to tell you. And that is hurting all the students who are studying in biotech universities in today's era. Now, it is not that uh, all the co colleges are doing that. There are many of them who are really good and they are doing the best they can to help the students grow in their career. I know a few of them and uh, I'll not take names, otherwise it'll look like favoritism or endorsing someone. So I'm not taking names, but there are many universities who are really doing a great job. But this, is, this video is targeted towards those wherein the biotech colleges are not doing a great job. So the first point which I would like to make in today's video is biotech colleges are not obligated to tell you all this. For example, whether you succeed in your life or not, their job is limited to giving you a degree and after that, the limit gets over. After that, their territory is over, they'll blame on you that now it's your duty to get a job or um, get and grow in your prof professional life. So that is where I believe uh, there's something which uh, I should highlight. I will give you seven to eight pointers today, which will open your eyes towards how do you can accelerate your career. At the same time, you should know this, that biotech colleges are hiding this from you. The first thing which uh, biotech colleges are, this is a crime which they are doing is they keep you busy, okay? And uh, it's probably not just the college, the university system is built in such a way that biotech students are always busy. They're busy with practicals, they're busy with practical records, they're busy with internals, externals, project, dissertation, whatnot, okay? But nobody is telling them few skills which is needed, okay? So first crime they're doing is they're keeping you busy and they're, you know, diverting your from the real problem. And the real problem is skill set. The real problem is various skills which I'm going to highlight today, okay? Now, biotech colleges don't teach you networking, okay? They somehow ignore it and everybody just takes it for granted. And by the time you have passed out, now you don't have a network. You don't have people to reach out to for a job. And all you do is just go to internet, download some random email IDs and send your CV. But that is not how you get your jobs, okay? You need to build a network and you need to start doing that while you're still in college. And if your college can help you build a network, that's a great thing because uh, you know, colleges have their alumni, alumni association and those students who were a part of the college like 10 years ago today are sitting on big scientific roles, right? So, for example, I'll tell you one of the alumni of Biotechnica. Uh, so, of course, we also have a lot of alumni. So, one of the alumni is the head of uh, one of the biggest uh, biotech organizations in Gujarat. Another person, uh, she is a big uh, scientist in one of the you know, labs in US in virology. So you can see when you are in the industry for 10, 15 years, you build a strong network. But probably colleges are not telling you and neither they are helping you build your network, neither they are introducing you to their network. And that is where you are suffering. So from day one, start building your network. And how do you do that? The biggest kickstart you can do is be active on LinkedIn, start networking with people but that does not mean that you'll just go and ping random people and ask for jobs because people on, Link on LinkedIn are professional people they're very busy they will not just straight away start giving you jobs you'll have to build a network you'll have to reach out to them uh, you know comment on their post um, like their post talk about whatever they have posted repost and then slowly so that they start knowing you by name and one fine day you just approach them do you have anything wherein I can help and probably it works so that's where uh, the first crime which colleges are doing is not helping you build a network. The second one, which is again a bigger crime, is they don't help you stay up to date. The biotech college libraries are not updated. Uh, the journals are outdated. They don't give you access to research papers. Many of them I know. Um, they don't give you access to research uh, journals. They don't even teach you how to uh, read research papers. And uh, so that's the second crime, second mistake which they're doing is they're not helping you stay up to date. Okay. One of the things I can tell you is, okay, uh, for example, Biotechnica, a lot of vacancies will come, but the professors are not telling you about it. And you are also not bothered while you are in your, in your, in your college because you are so busy with your uh, regular job, which you're doing, like writing practical records probably. So that's the second problem which they're doing is. The third one which they're um, doing is 
they're not helping you develop skill sets. So biotech lab instruments are outdated or uh, not sufficient or many a times when the instrument is not there, they'll just ask you to write the practical record without even doing the experiment. And they'll tell you to write sample data from somewhere from the internet. And that hurts. They don't send you to various labs. They don't tie up with various labs and they don't send you there to do hands-on. Okay, it's the job of the college to give you hands-on. It's not that you have to go outside and pay for it. Now, of course, you can do that, but it's a, it's your college college's job because you have paid their the fees, so you, they should, right? So that's the third point. They're not helping you develop the skill set. The fourth point, which I would like to make here, where the colleges are not being active, and uh, it is not new, it has always been there, is not helping you work like a team. Uh, be, you know, do some team building activities and, you know, uh, help you collaborate. Like, okay, even if your college lab is not having the sufficient instruments or sufficient ingredients, you can always collaborate with some other college or you can always collaborate with some other lab, right? So neither they teach you nor they encourage you to do that. And there is a lot of uh, bureaucracy if you want to do that, right? So that, that hurts, okay? And that's what they're hiding or they're not telling you that, yeah, if there are no instruments in my college, I can always collaborate with someone else and do it, okay? Because when you'll do uh, your research in IIC also, you, there'll be, there may be some instrument which is not there in IIC. So you may have to collaborate with uh, an ISER or NII or some uh, NIV to, you know, do the experiment. So it's not that um, always all the instruments will be there in your lab. So you need to collaborate. See, science is all about collaboration, right? Jennifer Doudna had to collaborate with Emmanuel Charpentier to, you know, discover CRISPR. So you, you can't really take the collaboration out of the equation, right? So colleges don't teach you that and that's the crime. But uh, now that you know they, they won't teach you, you have to do it. You have to do it on your personal level, collaborate with somebody, collaborate with me, collaborate with Biotechnica, collaborate with people around you, labs around you so that you can learn, okay? So that you get a chance to work. And collaboration is again a part of networking. So yeah, that's something. You should know. The next uh, and the fifth point which I would like to make is colleges are not helping you publish your research. In fact, many professors, they're not doing that. They, they should take up projects, okay? And they should help you publish papers, okay? Because by the time you pass out and you, you know, start looking for a job, you should have some papers you would have published in high impact journals and that will further help. So, you know, colleges should encourage, colleges should send you to various labs to do projects and then they should help you in publishing your papers. And I think professors should do that, right? So, you know, and if they're not doing it, you can always get in touch with Biotechnica. We can help you in publishing your papers. But yeah, that's something which uh, many of the colleges are not doing. But I am not here to bash the colleges. I just want to say that even the college management are so busy with all the laid down rules by the university that probably they are forgetting or they, they are missing out on this. So if your college is doing that, that's great. And let me know in the comment section if they are doing it. The next point which I would like to make here is colleges are not providing mentorship. Okay, so when they're not providing mentorship, students are like where to go. And then what they do is they go on internet. Okay, bachelor students, innocent students, they'll go on internet and then they'll ask or seek for help. And they'll go to random videos and they'll uh, read the comments, which will be mostly negative. And then they'll conclude that this, this particular field has no future, no scope, and I will also quit. So there are more quitters because they read wrong comments instead of the right ones. Okay, so that's where the mentorship comes into picture. If the colleges the college professors are providing you mentorship. That's a great thing. And I, if you are a professor, you should provide that. Because the students of today require massive guidance because there are more people on the internet to misguide them than to guide them. So I think professors and the network of people around you as a student should encourage you to pursue science, pursue research and pursue your subject because that's how you can grow in your career. So these were um, six to seven points. I think six points I have told you. The seventh one which I would like to highlight is Colleges are not helping in placements, okay? And I have covered this in a separate video earlier also. And that's not because, you know, there are no companies. I have this mobile with 237 companies as a WhatsApp group. If, if any vacancy comes, they'll message me and it'll get posted on Biotechnica, okay? 237 companies, startups in India, they have created a group and I'm a member of that. And the moment there is a requirement, they will post. But the, I don't see placement officers approaching these companies, right? And, you know, uh, getting placement done. So placement is one problem. I think one of the biggest problems. So seven to eight points I gave you today. 
And these eight points, I believe, should be solved. And if your college is not solving it, does not mean that you cannot solve it. I'll solve it sitting along with you. So if you have any doubts, question or any comments which you would like to make, please make them down and I would love to help you. If you have any personal question or you need some kind of guidance or mentorship support, feel free to email me at shekhar at biotechnica.org. It's my duty to help you succeed. It's my obligation and responsibility to make sure to see you uh, as a great scientist of the future. Just I'll tell you a story of today. Uh, at around 5.40 a.m. in the morning, I received one uh, message that one student bought four courses from Biotechnica certification course. I was like, who is this person? Morning 5.40 a.m. she's buying course. I saw that email ID. I went in Gmail and Googled it, searched it in my Gmail. I saw that she is my 2014 student. Okay. And she did CSINET coaching with us. She qualified CSINET. She finished PhD. Now she's in Sweden. Okay. And from Sweden, she's buying certification course to learn. So you can see the network, right? So this is called network. Now, all these people who are, who are a part of Biotechnica, who are today a part of our alumni network, will help you if you are a part of Biotechnica. So no matter you are going for any certification course or internship or um, coaching, whatever you go for, Remember, Biotechnica is built on the solid foundation of helping you, okay? And that's what I'm trying to do here. So even if your college is not helping you, please don't abuse them or, uh, you know, curse them. It's not their fault probably. But yeah, as a person, you need to grow. So uh, abusing someone or cursing someone will not help. Instead, come collaborate with me. I'll help you out. I'll guide you in growing in your career. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you soon in the next one. Till then, please take care. Bye-bye.